My name is Jonathan. This. That's Noodle. He's part iguana. Did you see all the stuff come out of his nose? Tempe, like, oh my god, Tempe. Tempe. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the pug. Set it to 375 and rotate every 15 minutes until golden brown. My grocery stores are starting to bend. And she needs to love herself. Yeah, his hearing's totally gone. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Tools of the Trade. My name is Jonathan, this... That's Noodle. And this is Tools of the Trade! The show where we find out what everyday items our everyday entrepreneurs need to get through their day. So, this week we are featuring the Sarah Small Box. Sarah Small of Wicker Goddess works every single day to bring the best of bohemian lifestyle and vintage goods to your home. So she does everything from making cards to making some beautiful uh, prints for your wall to repurposing vintage materials that she finds. So everything from mugs to ceramics to one of her signature items, Wicker. She's local to one of GoDaddy's main campuses in Tempe, Arizona. So we sort of partnered with her, helping her on her journey of she, you know, she did this business, she built this whole thing herself, but as far as helping to get her set up online and to help get her, you know, her email marketing set up and her SEO and all the, essentially all the tools in GoDaddy's kit, we worked to build into Sarah's business. And we actually just posted last week a 14 minute documentary that we filmed with her about entrepreneurship and essentially what one year of building a business has done to her. And I'm so excited to be able to show this box to you guys. So, we're gonna open the box. Okay, so the first item we have in the Wicker Goddess box is a Hydro Flask. So this, I can imagine, is in this box for a ton of reasons. First of all, hydration. You guys, every day you gotta get water wasted. It's good for your mind, body, and soul. It helps with your skin. It helps with your blood. It helps with your sort of just like the fact that you're alive. Her business is based in Arizona. So I understand the need to have water, especially if you're working in a desert, right? If you're somewhere like Tempe, Arizona. So this holds a ton of water. It's one of those, uh, it's one of those water bottles that helps to keep hot water hot and cold water cold. I know I make this joke all the time, like, oh, it's a water bottle, fill it with tequila and call it a day. Have you ever filled a hydro flask or a water bottle with like a nice cocktail and taken it to the park with you? or the movie. I'm sorry, I saw Birds of Prey last weekend in like at like 11 in the morning and we had a cocktail kind of going between the two of us. It was fabulous and I'm, I'm fine. Hydration is key. Another thing that I learned, so this is another thing that I want to stress everyone do, and I learned this from my friend Madalena, uh, water before coffee. So coffee is never the first thing you're supposed to put in your stomach in the morning. You are always supposed to drink a glass of water right when you wake up in the morning before you put coffee in there. So I love this. I'm very glad this is here. The next item we have in the Sarah Small Box is simple. These, I know what these are. These are reusable tote bags. And what I think is cool about this is whether you're going to a farmer's market or you're headed to a grocery store, are you gonna, are you gonna face the camera? Or are you just gonna stare at me? Are you just gonna stare at me in your face? You can stare at me if you want. There you go, look at that. He was like, yeah, I love it. It's really nice to have a reusable bag, especially because I know a lot of grocery stores are starting to bend. It's treat time. He just went, shut up. <laughs> okay, I will. There you go. I think this kind of speaks uh, uh, really directly to the kind of business that she operates and the kind of person that she is. Like if she's gonna operate, a, if she's gonna run a business that's exclusively about repurposing items and helping people to make beautiful spaces, how great that she also, you know, repurposes her, even her bags, her grocery bags, the thing that she uses to carry things around in. The next item we've got in this box, I'm gonna do this one, whatever this is. Oh, it's another solar charger. seen a couple of these in boxes before. So this is an incredible item for anyone to have, whether again, whether you're an entrepreneur or you're just someone who exists in today's society. Um, it looks like this 
and it charges all your little boops and it, it, it runs on solar power. So especially if you're in Tempe, Arizona, I can imagine that you are never, you know, without the opportunity to charge. But essentially what you do is you just kind of leave this out in the sun and then you can use it, it's a portable charger. You can charge your phone, anything that's got a USB attachment to it. And it's the kind of thing that you want, it's the kind of thing that you just want to have nearby. So a portable charger, this is a really great addition to this box. The next item we have in the Wicker Goddess box is, are these rose quartz? And rose quartz is for protection. Okay, that's really cool. So these are, so these are a, a sort of a bulk bag of rose quartz, and we've had a couple of these on previous episodes. But these crystals are—they uh, all symbolize something different, and they all sort of bring a different kind of energy to whatever room you're in if you keep them on them. And rose quartz is about self-love. So what's really cool about this is she, as someone who, you know, just over a year ago left a, you know, a secure corporate job to go off on her own and build her own business, you know, that's an act of self-love. So to have an item like this is a really staunch reminder, um, not only to have that actual like energy of self-love around you, but also to just, to remind her that she, and I think these are her words, is that she deserves a place in this world and she is allowed to be happy and she's allowed to go after the things that she loves and she needs to love herself. Yeah, his hearing is totally gone. <laughs> we guys, we've known for a long time, we've known that it's really bad, but we are, we just had proof on camera that that dog's hearing is gone. I'm so glad these are in here. And you got a bulk, right? There's a lot of love to go around in this bag, that's for sure. The next item we have in the Wicker Goddess box is I love merch, I love merch. It's a little Wicker Goddess sticker. It's a little sticker. So you can, you know, this is something you can put. Right? Come on, come on. Uh, I love this, I love that this is an item because I think this just speaks to the pride she has for the business that she created, right? She designed this, this little design, this is all her. And I, I think this kind of ties back into self-love, that idea of really wanting to celebrate your success and also get the name of your business out there. Uh, the final item we have is the Moon Deck. They are Oracle cards. This healing oracle set shares insights on growth, purpose, intuition, practice, and creativity. Okay, great. So this is a, I, and I've never, you know, I, I've never done these myself, but I know that these cards are something that a lot of people use to help them make decisions or to help them understand sort of the situations that they're in right now. Anyone who's going off on their own and is trying to start their own business and really pursue their own thing, you know, might need that extra boost of confidence or might need, you know, those small opportunities of guidance. Like, is this the deal I go for? Is this the one I post on my page? Is this, you know, is this the business idea that that I need to pursue? Is this, is it right to quit my job, right? And there are a lot of factors that go into making that decision, but I do know a lot of people, you know, trust in these cards and trust in sort of the energy that's brought through them. It says right here, may this deck empower and inspire you to walk your path with self-love, trust, and purpose. Sarah actually, so she, she, she's a daily practitioner of this. And what she does is she starts every single morning by pulling a card and that card, you know, whatever the, the meaning behind that card is, helps her to set an intention for the day. That is everything in the Wicker Goddess box. We are beyond excited that she took the time to curate this for us. All of those items speak so truly to who she is as a person and who she is as a business owner. And if you liked this video and you wanna see more videos like it, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to our YouTube channel to be up to date with all of the videos that we've got coming your way each week.